So this right here is my custom built 72 volt e-bike. It's using a phase runner controller from Grim Technologies, of course a 72 volt controller, and the default Hentac geared hub motor running at three kilowatts. But as phenomenal as this bike is, the biggest handicap so far has been the range. The biggest battery I could find at this voltage is only 15 amp hours. But today, my friends, we are going to be rectifying this pitiful situation. So I went ahead and bought a second 72 volt, 15 amp hour battery. This battery is from the same supplier as my original battery, e-bike marketplace. I'll leave them linked down below because I think it is one of the better suppliers out there, especially in comparison to something like unit pack power. These are using high quality Samsung 50S battery cells and a 60 amp BMS. With batteries, safety is vital. So again, I'll leave this company link down below. I've been very happy with them. And the idea here is to convert this bike into a dual battery system using one of these babies. This is a dual battery pack balanced discharge thingamajig. So this device will pull evenly from both battery packs and give me a total system capacity of 30 amp hours at 72 volts. All right, I've already measured out and made my modification to make the battery more easily removable. And it's gonna go something like this using the previous battery holes. After looking at this for a good long while, I think ultimately what I have to do for the cable management is to mount both these batteries differently. But for now, I just want to test it, make sure it works. So I think I'm just going to Velcro this on the battery. Okay, does it work? System is on. 81 volts is reading. Oh man, that is ugly. Okay, it's the next day. I did record a little bit of my initial impressions last night. Here's some of that footage. All right, we're on the bike. I can report it is working nominally, I think. But yeah, it seems to be working just fine. I'm like constantly sniffing to see if I smell anything burning. I'll pull over in a second and see if anything's hot. So the bottom battery feels completely fine. The top battery, they're both actually cold to the touch. The splitter, yeah, no, no heat. Even my controller is just barely warm. But now I have more experience with the bike. I've charged it and I can give you guys more developed thoughts. So it's impossible to tell if indeed the battery combiner is evenly pulling from both batteries as it's advertised to do. But I did a test because if you charge one battery more than the other, it should pull from that one first and thus your battery should drop faster during that phase. And then once both batteries are at the same voltage, the combiner should pull evenly from both and your voltage should drop at a slower pace. And that's exactly what I saw in my testing. So that's awesome, no complaints there. That's exactly how I want this battery combiner to work. You don't have to worry about charging them to the exact same voltage. It's just gonna pull from the more full charge battery first until they're at the same level. And speaking of charging the battery, at least with my system, my batteries in particular, I can't speak to everyone out there, but I was able to both keep it connected and charge them individually one at a time and have no issue at all. And so far, everything is cool to the touch. Nothing is melting. So I think we did it, guys. We successfully converted this bike to a dual battery configuration. We now have a total watt hour capacity of 2,000 160 watt hours. And yeah, I'm super happy I went with this company again, e-bike marketplace. I have zero complaints with my original battery. It's high quality. Even while charging, I'm coming from a unit pack power battery and those things always got fairly warm while charging. And that's never been the case with these batteries. They stay cool in all conditions. This is a bike shop. I called them 
and they say that they recycle batteries, e-bike batteries. So I'm gonna try and recycle my old battery here. Twelve seconds later. All right, well that worked out smoothly. No questions asked. Now to give you guys a, a range estimate here, my system calculates my average watt hour per mile consumption. And it says right now it's sitting at 30.2 watt hours consumed per mile traveled. That's, I know that's a little bit off because the computer and my the odometer isn't exactly spot on, it's close. I've also been conserving my battery, as mentioned, keeping it below 20 miles an hour back when I only had one battery. So riding the way I want to ride, it's probably going to be like, let's say 35 watt hours per mile. So if we pull over and do some math, 72 times 30, my total watt hour capacity is indeed 2,160 divided by my rate, let's say 35. That equals a hypothetical max range of 61 miles. Now, 80% of that is more realistic. I never charge my batteries to 100% for health reasons. So 80% of that is 49 miles. That's still not bad. So this puppy can do a realistic about 50 miles. I've really got to do something about this converter. It looks like a bomb. Yesterday I said my solution is probably going to be changing the mountain locations of these batteries. But I think a, a better solution, because I like the placement and the orientation, I think a better solution is ordering a bunch of XT60 extension cables. So that way I can run the cables kind of along the frame, connect them to the uh, combiner kind of in this area, and then have another extension cable coming off the combiner and then up and under into the controller. So yeah, we gotta make this look a little bit more professional, but I gotta say overall, I'm very happy with this investment and the decision to, to go dual batteries here. It should also extend the lifespan of these batteries because it's pulling equally from both, essentially cutting the load in half. So when I'm pulling my maximum 45 amps of current, each battery, when they're at the same voltage, should be supplying 22 and a half amps. If you guys have any further questions on uh, this dual battery configuration, feel free to let me know in the comments. As I mentioned, I'll leave this battery company linked down below. It's, it's now my go-to source for high quality, high performance batteries. And I'll also leave the battery combiner linked below. I'll leave all the parts linked below. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.